Hey everybody, it's Troy Helene here from Only SP, looking at another first impressions video here. This time it's Secrets of Ray Tikan. Uh, this game is in early alpha uh, right now, early access, um, and it is marketed as a 2D open world exploration game. Um, so we got some, we got early access. We're gonna take a look at it for you guys and uh, let you know what we think of the first impressions here. They say they recommend using a, uh, a controller for the experience. So we're going to use a controller to make the best of it. Um, the game already goes, it goes right into a uh, press cross to flap your wings. Well, cross is the A, A button on the controller for me. I'm using an Xbox controller right now. Um, so it's probably it probably recommends you use a um, PS4 controller or PS3 controller. It's uh, it's recognizing that I should be using a PlayStation controller, but I'm using an Xbox controller, so. so this is a very cool little tutorial here. It's saying uh, collect runes. I release slivers, I don't know. We're just gonna kind of explore, because that's, uh, that's the name of the game here. Grab animals. Apparently. If I can get, a, get to them. And I can dive. Uh, so far, the, um, the controls are pretty pretty slick here and it's got a really unique uh, art style here so we're gonna go exploring because that is what they want us to do in this game grab rune stones to read I cannot read these rune stones so maybe I can read them later. We'll find out. Um. I can only go up so far here. So on the Xbox controller, it's um, it's the X button in order to shoot those slivers. And I guess we collect the slivers uh, through various things. These things. There's one here too. This one. And I think that's the last ones that we need. Yep. There we go. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory right now. We activate that, and then I'm sure I can grab this and do something with that. I created a shard. And it unlocks this way. Very cool. Very cool so far. Um, I have to continually hold this down though, and I don't know why I'm holding it down for. I'm guessing it goes here. Oh no! Uh, there's not a whole lot of... I. There's not a whole lot of music in this game, it's mostly, uh, mostly just atmospheric sounds. Their use of uh, tutorial is pretty pretty good here. And the other six shards, and then we get to open the cage doors. So the game's website um, shows us that we're part of a bird race people. That I'm not really sure what my motivation is for doing all this stuff, but it's 
pretty cool so far. Can I save this guy? Oh, I was trying to dive bomb him. I was trying to seismic slam him. This guy wants to fight me over it. I still can't read these. So I'm assuming that I'll unlock the uh, stuff later. There's a cave here. Let's uh, explore the cave. I move a lot faster in these kind of rooms. Aha! I don't know if you guys saw that just now, but I, um, I got a letter, the, um, letter F I just collected, so now I should be able to read the runes. I don't know what the purpose of the runes are, but, um, I'm assuming it's a good thing. Let's see. Read this. That is F. Of. Alright, we'll try and read that later. I, d I am having a, a lot of fun just flying around here, though. Got that, and plus the art style of it is really cool. Uh, it almost looks like folded paper, but but not quite, not quite that folded paper look. Just similar. Click here. Oh, there So it's a light puzzle, light puzzle uh, exploration here. Gotta fight this guy. Fight you. Oh, he is taking me hostage. Yeah, he does not want me. He is trying to hurt me. Gonna avoid him and go in here. Had to do some some quick aerial maneuvers there. Wow! So uh, collecting these is obviously a good thing. sure how to reform these. But uh, obviously this is a puzzle. The physics in this is, is awesome, but uh, still really hard. I did, however, want to take a look at the um, the options for you guys um, here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the options as I move this claw over here. All right. So this game, since it uh, it goes from the main menu straight into um, into the game, uh, they do have an options menu, which I've messed with the sound a little bit on here. But they can show you continue controls. Um, shows you all the controls here, uh, and Actually, the controls on here show um, reflect the fact that I have an Xbox controller in, but the controls that they have uh, on the UI doesn't reflect it. It assumes that I have a PlayStation controller hooked in, so um, at least this one shows that I have an Xbox controller plugged in. Um, there's the settings, 
which right now doesn't have any kind of audio options. So I had to go mess with the audio sound. It was really loud. Um, I had to mess with that in my actual speaker system, the mixer. So they will hopefully add in a uh, an option to turn down sound or turn up sound um, just so it makes it easier to play. Uh, there's a full screen mode, mouse controls, post processing, same continue, okay. Um, there is a stat option here which shows how many um, everything, how often we've died, how many slivers we collected, how many we've dispensed, how many ores we've collected, number of mosquitoes killed, etc, etc. And it kind of gives a uh, a hint at what comes later. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to collect. It reminds me a little bit of um, those old collecting games like uh, Banjo-Kazooie or um, Donkey Kong for the N64. Those are big collecting games, so those are always fun to do because a lot of people like to... It's really bad for completionists like uh, like myself and my friends who, who want to get everything, so it keeps us coming back. There's a new game, Quit, and then there's an editor. Now, this editor is um, something they've been boasting about as well. Um, that you can pretty much go into the game and uh, edit anything. Now I just switched to my mouse here. So I can click this guy and go through the whole editor here, um, which I'm not sure how I feel about. And I don't think it's integral to the game, but you know I can go like Bird Collision. And then, I don't know, it's that new bird collision stuff. So I can go mess with everything here. I don't know if this is going to be a feature in the full game when it comes out, or if they're just testing it out for alpha purposes. So you can test things out. It shows our FPS. Uh, you can mess with the layers, the levels, uh, almost as if you're you know, making the game yourself here. I don't know if this editor is going to be included in the full game, like I said, but right now, if you get the early access, it's uh, it's included as well, which is pretty sweet. There's a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, it's like a built-in built -in editor for the game. So I can mess with, I can move this guy probably. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it too much because I want to enjoy the actual game for it, but I can move my guy over here where I wasn't and then go back to continue the game and suddenly I'm here and I can control it while the editor is going. So it makes me feel a little bit like I'm a um, like a developer in a way because I can just go test it and then go back to pause and then go back to the editor and I can turn off the editor I believe hopefully it's got uh, some of those tools notes, settings, debugs um, you can tell I'm not an editor because I do not understand how to turn this off. But you can take a look at the uh, animations. It's pretty cool. And I'm sure there's going to be some people who just who just go nuts with this and just change everything. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that is going to do that, but I'm sure that there's a lot of people that do that. So yeah. Didn't, uh, didn't take a whole look at uh, most of the game, but I just wanted to show you guys just a, a first impression look at, at what the game is has to offer here. Uh, very cool editor uh, kind of deal built into it. Very cool uh, flying around mechanics and very cool collection. So if you're, if you're keen on any of those, I would definitely say check it out. Um, I'll have a link in the description to where you can go ahead and pick up this game if you want to do early access as well um, and then you can join in the free flying uh, open world roaming type of game that is uh, Secrets of uh, Radicon. Pretty cool so far. Um, music's great and everything so if you guys are interested check it out otherwise look for only SP just for some uh, some more first impression looks here coming up later. Alright have a good rest of the day guys.